So, hi guys. Uh, as you can see, we're not doing historical, John. <sighs> we're doing. Go on. Wake me up when it's over. <laughs> I would, but you're right under close camera. This is true. Anyway. Do you want to see my loom band? I like my loom band. Oh, I didn't realize you had one of those. Oh, yes. Being all fad like, jumping on that bandwagon. I bought it off an army cadet. <laughs> okay, guys, we have the Holy Military Order of the Knights of Santiago. John, you saw these setting and went, actually, those are cool. They're not history, but they're cool. Yes. So, crack open the box. Because they're Knights Templar in space. Yes. It's what yes. makes them cool. Yes, these guys are one of the sectorial factions for Panoceana. Mm -hmm. And with us just having done Infinity Ice Storm Week, this box has a couple of interesting options, mm -hmm. which we will discuss once John has the box open. Mm -hmm. But if we quickly have a look on the back, and I can turn the box the correct way around. God, you're useless at this. Can yep. You can actually see the beautiful paint job that Ankel, Ankel Heraldez has done. Mr. Heraldez, I both hate and love you. As every semi-professional painter in the world does. Are you calling me semi-professional? I've call been paid for this stuff once. Yes, but in your videos you always say, I'm not a professional. This so I'm at least giving you the kudos of saying, okay. semi-professional. Fine. Alright. <laughs> Experienced painter that doesn't consider himself professional because he's modest. Okay, so the artist formerly known as Prince, the painter formerly known as John. <laughs> the professional formerly known as John. The amateur formerly known as professional. Yeah, yeah, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, you've got one of the miniatures out of this pack already. Let's yes, and, and, and you can handle this because I'm not really too sure what I'm looking at. Okay, oh, that's, so, that's his head. Yeah, so we have me and Body. Uh, again, it's very nice, heavily armoured with the nice flowing tabards in and around him. Uh, this is one of the older Infinity Sculpts, I think, because they have been redoing a lot of their stuff recently. Some of the re-sculpts have been looking fantastic. Oh, have, you, have you seen the new Wolves they did? I don't care about the Wolves. Have you seen Joan of Arc? I haven't. Mark II. I haven't. Josh, she's amazing. I haven't. The old one was good enough anyway. Definitely one of my favourite ones out of the post Pan Oceana, but yep. definitely the Mark II is amazing. Yep. We then have his, oh, if I don't drop it, his teeny weeny little head, which is. The nice. helmets are pretty cool looking. They are, they are. They're, they They're, do feel. If you, if you just give me the box so I can talk about it more while looking at the box. Yeah. The, the, the helmets actually do feel like they would be from medieval times, only done with tech. Well, I mean, it's it, like when you see them, they have like the, the visors are done like crosses yeah. and they're, they're glowy red. I yeah, mean, so it's, it's all that brilliant iconography that you would have had back in medieval times. Yeah. We also have his big, beautiful claymore. The Schward. Yes, the Schward. The I really love, big Schward. I love the Schwards. Love the Schwards. Yeah, Schwards. <laughs> so what's the gun then? Like if we look... Uh, I think that, if I'm not very much mistaken, I think it's a Spitfire. And what is a Spitfire? I'm going to ask you all these awkward questions, because you've just done Infinity Week, so I'm going to have to talk to you about it. Yes, but I'm not an Infinity expert, we're just looking you at should be. you think it's cool. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> now, a Spitfire is a very, very nasty weapon. I think it's burst 3 or 4, mm -hmm. and with the actual changes to the weapon ranges, it's became a lot more effective. I think it's got a bigger mid-range, yeah. where it's actually getting that plus 3. So, so w these guys are obviously because they've got Schwards. Yeah. Well, there's only two Schwards. Yeah, but I'm right. purposefully calling it Schwards, by the way. It's I I know how to say sword. Yeah, yeah. So sword, sword, sword. Yeah, the, the the whole idea is I think they have explosive combat weapons, right? Which are quite nasty. They right. sound nasty. I have to. Well, if you think I hit you with my sword, yes, and you go boom. Oh, that is nasty. Actually, yeah. that's very nasty. Yes. That's why I like this whole Templar style because they're running up to you, screaming their holy wrath at you, and then as soon as they hit you, you blow up. Die, heretic! Keep it up. Right, uh, next component we have is, I think, the other leg. That's the other leg with his uh, tabard. Yes, more of the, the tabard. Yep. Again, the sculpts on these are really clean. A lot of people don't realise that Infinity's Metal is actually a slightly different mix from most other people's. Is it? Yeah, so it, it runs a little bit softer. So they so can make more detailed moulds. Exactly, it gets right. better into the details. Now, you have, because this is one of the older sculpts, and they've actually changed this now, mm -hmm. you have the, the teeny weeny little antennae that you could very simply mistake for Flash if you're not careful. Very easily, yeah. Which I, I was... like now, because they've changed that design. Mm -hmm. Because I was talking to Carlos during Infinity Week about it, and he said, yes, we've been talking to our sculptors saying, look, if you're going to have an antenna on it, make sure it has a nice big connection point. Right. So it's not going to fall off. Mm -hmm. So 
Yes, it might look a little heavier. You'll lose some of the delicateness of it, but it'll be a better gaming mini. Yeah. Because it's, it's one complaint we used to have with these when they first came out was some of the components were so delicate, you would want it more as a display piece. Yeah, so when, when I first came across Infinity, I thought, I would look brilliant in my cabinet, but I'd be terrified to take it into a game. Yeah. I mean, even with all the, um, <clears throat> like the battle foam trays and oh, yeah. KR multi-case, you know, all these guys running yeah, around with these... And all. Yeah, f- uh, the, with all these brilliant transport ideas, yeah. I still wouldn't want to take that anywhere because if I even dropped that bag, I'd be terrified of that just disintegrating. Yeah. Or bending, like if, that, if you painted that sword very well yes. and it suddenly bent and it, the paint chipped or cracked on it, I would be crying. I would yeah. be down in the yeah. floor and screaming to the heavens. Because the miniatures are so beautiful, mm-hmm. they make you want to take that extra bit of time on them to make them that extra bit beautiful. That's why I've never finished, or have I never? I've painted one you finished Cordelia. I've painted Cordelia. You haven't finished Scarface yet? No. You actually turned out beautifully. I really think you so, finished him. So far, yes. But after having painted Cordelia, yeah. I've realised two things. Right. My painting skill for something this size sucks. <laughs> the painting style that this miniature range demands. I mean, it doesn't even ask you politely to paint it well. It demands that you paint it well. And Mr. Geraldes is completely to blame for this. <laughs> He's completely to blame for me having painted one of the miniatures from the range. <laughs> because I, every time I look at the box art, I go, I can't do that. How am I supposed to do that? Where's the pigments? Where's the paint chipping? Why? You're making me paint this clean. And then, you know, when you talk to Mr. Heraldez, I'm just going to be sat there steaming in the corner and just... Yeah. Going, can oh, you I, not paint something more realistic? <laughs> I, I remember when we first had Roman do one of these, mm-hmm. we suggested it to him and it was just him going, Gasp, I couldn't do that. I couldn't touch that. I'm, I'm too nervous. I, 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 I thought he was going to faint. <laughs> okay, so we have our next night. Yeah, I find it. So we have me and Buddy again. Yep. Uh, solid core. So as you can see, it is the, the older style. Again, nice heavy armor plates. We have Le Tabard. Which uh, that's ridiculously nice looking as well. It's really, really well sculpted just to get natural flows and stuff as if it is just fluttering in a breeze. Now these aren't at the point where they're being resculpted, are they? They're I don't they're know. Possibly just the older style that's sticking think, around I for think a while. These are the older style. They're sort of that mid range because mm-hmm. these weren't some of the first minis out, but they are earlier than the new insanely good stuff that's coming out. Yeah, I mean, but well, it doesn't detract from the fact that these are great. These these will sit next to the ice storm box, no problem. Oh yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah. We have another little bit of cloth for the mm-hmm. tabard. Uh, now we're getting into some very small components. Now this guy doesn't have a sword. No, he doesn't have a sword. He has a combi rifle mm-hmm. up and ready to shoot. And the combi rifle, as we all know, is your basic rifle. It's the, the one weapon that pretty much every army will have mm-hmm. on some troop. They will have some form of it. You know, even Ariadna, Ariadna have their equivalent, even though they don't do tech, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have his head with that really nice crest at the back. Yeah. And as John said, the, the nice engraved... <sighs> You're really struggling with this close cam thing, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's, it's just I'm in an awkward place to get at it. We have his other leg, so he's knelt down. And then we have the, the little teeny weeny. Are you sure he's knelt down? It looks like he's in a running pose. Uh, he's in a running pose. Yes, he's in a running pose. You should have looked, should have looked at the box first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have gone to Specs over, should have. Yeah. Spec savers and then watch me smack this in your face. <laughs> but no, the, the kit is really beautiful and you get some nice options in it. So mm-hmm. we've seen what I think is the Spitfire and the combi rifle so far. We have our next guy who has two swords. He has double sword? He has two swords. Why reason. does he have two swords? I don't know. They're all a little sprout. Oh well. And he has one on his hand. Mul- multiple sword is also... Oh, do you know what those are for? Are those for the scabbards? Uh, yes, but they have the actual swords in it, so it's maybe the two guys that don't have swords out, you can put them on them. Yeah, that would probably make sense. I think that would make sense. So they've, they've awesome. actually sheathed the swords over their back or their hip. Yeah, yeah. so let's move this guy out of the way. So they do all have swords. I was, I was wrong in this. Yes, yes, John, you're wrong. Wrong, I tell you. It's because it's not a historical mini. It doesn't matter, it's sci-fi. It's sci-fi and it's beautiful and it's infinity and it's wonderful. But I have, not, I have nothing to wiki research. <laughs> oh, come on, John, you would never do that. No, never do that. No, so I've have, been taught better than that to use Wikipedia all the or time. Or at least let people know that you use Wikipedia. This is a good point. Uh, the other sword. Again, I love this big Claymore style thing. They do look very hefty, actually, don't they? Even for being really nice and 
delicate. delicate looking. They still have that look yes, of they, they, they're, they're going to lock. But they still look as if they would be a sharp blade. Yeah. Because there, there are some miniatures out there that have a sword. It's hefty, but it, it looks as if it's a club. It looks like it's a cheese knife. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So we have this guy's main body. Again, very nice. Lots of heavy armor plate in there around him. And, uh, I, ju I just had a terrible thing to say. What? So these, these swords are more deadly than um, the cheese cutters, which are only deadly to cheddar. What? Yeah. Are you proud of that? No. <laughs> Guys, comment below. Are you proud of what you just did? No. Don't be proud, <laughs> don't be proud of anything uh, I say. We have another leg with the great flowing capes on it. We have what I think is an arm for the sword. Is that, the, is that the sword arm or is that the gun arm? I think that's the sword arm because I think this guy doesn't have a gun. We have his head. Okay. We have the two scabbarded swords. swords. I don't know why we have those. Because I don't see them on the actual minis. Well, again, the, the, for, the, for the ones with the, fi with the firearms. Yeah, so I suppose uh, you've got one guy with it on his hip where yeah. he has it drawn. So I guess if you, you clip those slightly, maybe. And then you've got the two teeny weeny little t antenna again. So those would be a mild pain to put on, but... They look beautiful. They do look beautiful. And again, it's one of those, do we really need to... Yes, because the last guy has the final option. All right. So, and what is the final option? The final option is a boarding shotgun, which has become mega deadly. I couldn't see shotguns having a place in such high sci-fi, though. They do now with the weapon range changes, yeah. because whenever you get into their optimal range, they're getting a plus six. So if you think... If, which means nothing to me. Right. If your average guy has a ballistic skill of 11, yes. you're trying to roll to... 11 or below. Yes. Add plus 6 to that, you're suddenly rolling on a d20. Right. A 16 or below. Okay. We will, we will figure this out once me and him get... Yes, we are, we are talking about getting the ice we're, we're going for to, ourselves. Yes, and also comment below if you want to see our... what would be a ridiculously painful watch of us trying to play the demo of the games through out of the box. <laughs> it could make an interesting series. We'll He'll see. probably beat me because I'd be looking at the rules going, huh? You're just going to go, arrow? What? 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 Where is my front armor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why are there no treads? Where is my gun stabilization system? Why, why, why is there no gyro stab on this thing? Yes. Why, <laughs> why is suddenly my, uh, my heavy armor being shut down? Because I'm nomads and I have hackers. Yes, that would... That would, would, would kind of, yeah. Earn you a punch in the face. <laughs> yeah. It reminds <laughs> me of gaming with my brother when I was a kid. And I mean video gaming, not war gaming. So if we move this last guy out of the way... Yes, we're going to move all this out of the way and having conveniently mixed up all the parts, so I have no idea what things are now. Yay! Yeah. Uh, anyway. So if you clear... This, this, this. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Give me time. <laughs> Give me time. We're on the time. clock. Give me time. We're not on the clock. You can take as long as you want with these. <laughs> so we have last guy's head. Again, nice big crest on the back. Mm -hmm. Put that down. We have main body. Nice heavy armor. No tabard this time. We have... Now, are these guys sort of more heavy infantry? Yes, these are your heavy, heavy infantry. These are your guys that can just stand and take an absolute hammering. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the two bits of his cape there. Yep. Little uh, antennae. If I can get stuff and things into shot and not fail. Mm -hmm. so, that to there, that to there. That'll do. We then have two scabbards. Now, those so, are definitely for the ones that have their swords drawn. Yes, yes. And from the look of the box, there are two that have their swords drawn. So you have swords drawn, scabbards, and swords undrawn. Yep, because there is there is definitely two guys on the box that have weapons, weapons in hand that don't have the swords. In fact, actually... Yes, yes, they go around to the back of the hip. <laughs> so we missed we've, that. We've done goofed, and we've actually seen yes. where those, those full we, swords we, come we from. We haven't so. seen the wood for trees. So we have his hand. This looks to have a very tiny little gun in it. Is that a little pistol? It's possibly a little pistol. It's you very, should, very you should know this. I, I, I'm not a pano player. Uh, we have what I believe is the boarding shotgun. Yeah, that's a bit badass. Yeah, yeah. I that's, remember that's in the old rules, I'm not sure if it'll be in third edition, but mm. when you fired a boarding shotgun at someone, it wasn't a template coming out from your gun. Mm -hmm. You would shoot them, hit them, and then a template would come out from that and hit someone behind them. <laughs> so it's so it's like the, the shot hit them and then just scattered yeah it scatters from inside the person so it hits like a fist yeah blows up inside and shits out the back that's 
quite messy. I, I can see why shotguns would be used if that's the way they're going to be implemented. Yeah, yeah. and then we have his other last little leg. Mm -hmm. So that's the the Holy Order of the Knights of Santiago. Mm -hmm. I think I've said that right. Are you hopeful? They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, you and me, John, are going to be having a closer look at Infinity for our own personal gaming soon. Yep. Guys, drop us a comment below. Tell us what you think. Would Do you Would you like to see our foray into Infinity? Because it might be quite hilarious. It could be entertaining seeing ha, me ha, and John rage at each other over a gaming table. Having someone that paints with a two-inch brush and someone that only paints realistic models going at something that has some of the best-looking miniatures in the world. Yep. What do you think, guys? Drop us a comment below. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think, and we'll see you again soon.